previously had a conversation with all three co-hosts today. That is myself, Stephanie Ayeta, and Brian Sako 101. I really hope you caught that. But if you don't, um, I also hope that you can get snippets of the same on our YouTube channel. But we have just begun the day. Warm up, Kwanza, and I'd like you to help me give a very, very warm welcome to our first guest of the day. He has a plan. Hmm? Plan, and it involves money, as in making it, <laughs> not spending, making it. And that's one of my favorite kind of plans. Good morning. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please introduce yourself to the people. Well, my name is Geoffrey mm -hmm. Nairobia. I'm a pilot in training mm -hmm. and a flight operations dispatcher, mm -hmm. licensed. Mm -hmm. And uh, also in the business world, uh, doing the cryptocurrency trading. Mm -hmm. And also I'm an author of the takeoff book. Mm -hmm. that says that you need to get out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. and take off. Mm -hmm. So that's a nutshell of who I am. You, you have very many accolades. You're yeah, here yeah. doing this, you're here <laughs> doing that. Do, don't they ever clash? Don't you ever get tired? Uh, no, actually, I enjoy doing new things every day. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. What new thing have you done today? Well, let me say, uh, the newest thing that I've done this week is just, uh, I have a project that I'm working on. Uh, I'm, I'm coming up with a school. Whoa! So that's mm -hmm. what we are actually doing, a preparatory school. We will discuss that shortly yeah, yeah. after this. <laughs> all right. Yes, yes. Uh, let's first start with your book, Take Off. What's okay. that all about? Okay, the Take Off book s simply says that uh, you are the pilot of your own life. You are the captain. Mm -hmm. And when you're the captain, you, it means that you need to plan. You know, uh, the responsibilities of a captain is to do flight planning, mm -hmm. uh, communication. The journey of an aircraft, it, just, it don't just happen. Mm -hmm. You don't just wake up and start up and just fly. Mm -hmm. There is a process and then you have to plan a pre-flight. A pre so if you, are, if you are flying tomorrow, you have to plan a day before. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically in, in our lives, we need to plan our lives. Mm -hmm. You know, many people just do things without planning. And you know, when you plan 80%, mm -hmm. 20% is success. Wow. So, but when you force success on 20%, mm -hmm. you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. So basically the book says that you are the pilot of your own life and then it gives you the tactics and the formula of how to be a successful person. Mm -hmm. From uh, planning, uh, planning is a chapter, there is a, uh, there is a making steps. Mm -hmm. You know, after planning, the aircraft has to leave the hangar mm -hmm. and then taxi to the runway. Mm -hmm. So whenever you have a plan or an idea, you have to make it work, mm -hmm. not just putting it there. So the plane goes and uh, it reaches to a place that is known as a runway. Mm -hmm. So the runway, you have to do the pre-flight checks, mm -hmm. as in the last checks before you take off. Mm -hmm. uh, then in life, it, uh, I've tried to elaborate that. When you're planning to do something new, you mm -hmm. have to go back to the books, go back to the plan, and ask yourself, is this the right decision that I'm making? Because when an aircraft takes off, uh, the only thing you can do is to uh, land. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, 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 the things that we, we start, like taking off is now, uh, is now getting off uh, from the ground to the air. Mm -hmm. And once an aircraft has taken off, it can't come back, mm -hmm. you see. So it also prepares you. Uh, before takeoff, you, you, are thorough, you thoroughly know what you want to do. And uh, immediately after takeoff, take off, it also shows you about communication mm -hmm. because when a pilot takes off you need to communicate with the tower mm -hmm. you need to communicate with the controls mm -hmm. uh, that shows you when you when you keep communicating you will not get lost mm -hmm. but when a pilot just avoid communication he get lost mm -hmm. so uh, communications is a is a factor that helps you to remain on track mm -hmm. so it's a journey after takeoff mm -hmm. we go to the we face like something called weather. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you find Turbulence. very difficult mm -hmm. weather. Mm -hmm. It's raining, mm -hmm. the storms, uh, but uh, the pilot doesn't give up. Mm -hmm. uh, now those are the challenges that we meet in life. Mm -hmm. You've started a small business, umepata challenges, kidogo mm hapa. -hmm. Uh, for instance, you ventured into marriage, mm -hmm. umepata shake-ups, kidogo. But it shows you that you need to be firm mm -hmm. on controls. Mm -hmm. So the journey continues, continues, 
uh, you get into a, an approach. Uh, a pilot is something that we call an approach. Mm -hmm. You're able to see the runway, you're approaching. The same case to us. Uh, after you've planned everything, you're able to see, uh, or you've done a business and you've set everything, and then you're going to receive the check. Mm -hmm. But unapata, sometimes there are kuneza kuana delays when we go come tomorrow. You see? It doesn't mean that you have to give up again. I understand. You uh -huh. see? So you have to keep focus. Mm -hmm. And now the, when you when you when you're approaching you've been controlled by the control tower mm -hmm. so you've been told like you're the number one you're number two number three now in life that's where you see there's a difference mm -hmm. for instance you're driving i'm not driving mm -hmm. you see you should not complain because everybody has his, his or her own time mm -hmm. and then the planes uh, uh, after a few minutes the, the plane is cleared to take off, as in to land. To land, uh -huh. And now when you land, that is what I call success. Mm -hmm. But you see, success is not just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Success is at the end. So the book entails how to become successful. Mm -hmm. So successful is not, success is not just something that is just planned in a day. It's a journey. So you don't just wake up and say that I, I want to be a successful person. Mm -hmm. You must work hard, work smart. Uh, be focused mm -hmm. and when challenges come you are, you are strong to overcome so that's a nutshell of the book mm. all right so failing to plan is basically planning to fail that's it i did see something however that was very interesting and one of the it was an artist funny thing it was an artist but he was highlighting the fact that we don't celebrate our failures enough because we are definitely going to make mistakes. We're going to, and I say failure very loosely because it's just on the way to success. You cannot fail if, if you're not trying first. So I think trying is, is up first, the first thing. You may fail, but if, if you don't move past the failures, then you guess will never reach success. But we don't really celebrate our failures enough. There's, there's no song in success. That's what he said. There's no song in success. You learn nothing from success. You have succeeded. But when you fail, you say, OK, so I should have done this this way. OK, you fail again. I, I did it this way, but I should have tweaked it here. What do you think? OK, uh, personally, I, I love, OK, failure is part of success. Mm -hmm. But many people say that failing is like it's the end. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when, when we are getting tra trained to fly, mm -hmm. uh, you make mistakes. And it's out of those mistakes that you're able to learn. Mm -hmm. So whenever, whenever you, you get a very big failure, or you're in a, in a, when you fail, that is, out of that failure, mm -hmm. that's where your stronghold is. Mm -hmm. So when you fail, you're able to understand that next time mm -hmm. you cannot make such a mistake. Mm -hmm. But if you, there is no fail, actually success without failure is not success. It's mm -hmm. not real success. Mm -hmm. So true success entails of failure. Mm -hmm. And failure is part of learning. Mm -hmm. So whenever you try something and fail, uh, know that you're learning and it's part of success. Mm -hmm. So uh, for a successful person, you cannot uh, emit, how to, uh, emit about failure because mm -hmm. it's part of the ingredient. It would be wrong for me to say I'm, I'm very successful, but I've never failed. You know, Wongo. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. Very wrong. Actually, big and great people that actually I've met, uh, the, the beginning, and failure is like, a, it was a foundation. <laughs> you get somebody is from a very, very humble background, mm -hmm. failing, trying, and then. And actually, I've, I've come to discover that most prominent and great people are those people that who have failed. Mm -hmm. uh, like, let's say like exam example of the bulb. Mm -hmm. uh, the person who invented the bulb, mm -hmm. he tried many times. A hundred and, and something actually. actually. Is this <laughs> nine, I think that is physics. Is this 999? He kept, on, he kept on trying, trying, trying. So if he failed, if, if he gave up on failure, mm -hmm. uh, I think we couldn't have been having the lights today. Mm -hmm. But he kept on trying, trying, trying. So it's out of failure that success is born. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, before we go to the second part of the interview, I, I, we just had a conversation with uh, my co-hosts and we're trying to figure out where, where toxicity begins and tenacity ends, such that Nakulangomo, uh, by the way, it's, it's hard. It's maybe the environment I'm in is hard. Maybe what I'm going through is hard, just hard difficulties, you see? But where does that end? And now I cannot do this anymore because it's affecting my mental health. Where does that begin? You see, everything begins in the mind. Mm -hmm. 
success is in the mind. Mm -hmm. Failure is in the mind. And uh, it doesn't mean that you have to be in a very good place to succeed. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, our minds are the com and computers are like computers. Mm -hmm. Whatever you feed, it process. If you feed like positivity, that's what is going to come out. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think or I see uh, success, the moment we allow to feed positive things in our mind, that's where transformation begins. Mm -hmm. But if all the time we are complaining, actually personally I avoid complaining, mumbling like the mm -hmm. nation, the, 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 the economy is bad. Mm -hmm. As we speak, there are people who are doing very well. Mm -hmm. with such an economy. It's true. You see? It's very true. Uh, they are doing very well. Mm. No, hata mafuta ipande ifike miambi. Ni sawa. It, yani there are people hata ikiuzwa mm. 500. Mm. They will not complain. Mm. So instead of complaining, just upgrade yourself and mm -hmm. think about uh, what else can I do or what more can I do to get into this standard. Mm -hmm. Because the moment you keep on complaining, uh, President hata huja kwambia, no, uh, because you are complaining, let me give you 100,000. Mm. No. Mm -hmm. So it's up, it's up to us. We start thinking big. Mm -hmm. Think beyond the box. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I'm in aviation, but I see beyond. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, last time when COVID came, uh, it really gave us a very big lesson, especially in the aviation industry. Because uh, travel were banned mm -hmm. and uh, you, we couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. But now that's when I started thinking, about, uh, thinking beyond. Mm -hmm. Napata, let me get other ideas. Mm -hmm. And the moment when you are when you see beyond, beyond your profession. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I always admire interacting with different people, mm -hmm. different professions, not only in aviation. And it has really changed me. Mm -hmm. Because you need other people besides uh, the people that you are working together. And mm -hmm. that's where life becomes easy mm -hmm. and able to get exposure. I don't think I've heard someone saying life is easy in a very long time. You, you must be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So something else about you is you are into cryptocurrency and the Forex trade. Let's start with Forex. Tell us a little bit about that, how you maneuver it as a person. Okay, Forex, I started, I started trading, let me say, like three years ago. Mm -hmm. That's when I started uh, the, the Forex journey. Uh, well, Forex is a, a very interesting industry, mm -hmm. and at the same time, it's very volatile. Mm -hmm. If you don't take care, it can whip you, mm -hmm. it can kill you, and it, or it can make you. Mm -hmm. uh, it has its up and down, mm -hmm. and uh, many people just show you the good part of it, mm -hmm. and they don't show you the bad part of it. Mm -hmm. Because in Forex, you, you can lose money mm -hmm. in a minute. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how much you have. Mm -hmm. And you can triple the money in like five minutes. Wow. You see? Mm -hmm. So it's a good industry that requires a lot of skills. You need, to, you, need, you need to know the graphs very well to analyze them. Because a single mistake can finish you up. Mm -hmm. So that's about Forex. Basically, it's about, uh, you know, when you travel into a different country, mm -hmm. if you have Kenya shillings, you're going to, to Uganda. That's you have to time. change. Mm. So Forex, it's that money, you know exchanging from Kenya shillings to USD, mm -hmm. to Naira, to, to Ugandan currency. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all about Forex. Basically, mm -hmm. it's about exchanging of money, foreign money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you advise someone to get into Forex? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, no, between there is Forex and there is crypto. Mm -hmm. I would advise people to, to start with crypto. Mm -hmm. Because crypto is it's very interesting. Tell us about crypto. Uh, uh, crypto, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, you know, anyone who has done Forex and then to do crypto, act at a familiar crypto. Mm -hmm. Because right now, crypto, you earn money 24-7. Mm -hmm. You see? It's where like, your money is working for you. Mm -hmm. Because you're able to earn, uh, you're able to earn 24/7. You just need to have a phone. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have an office. Mm -hmm. uh, you just need to have a smartphone and the internet. Mm -hmm. That's all. And then you don't lose your money. Mm -hmm. You don't lose your capital. So uh, I have this passion to inspire the young people. Mm -hmm. You know, most of the time, according to the survey, 90% of the teens they spend their time on social media. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at the the, the time they spend. It's Instagram, uh, Facebook. And you spend 90% or 70% of your time mm -hmm. on phone, and others are spending that time and they're earning. So it's an awakened call that we are bringing to the young people. You can work smart. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You can start earning with your phone. You can start earning. You see, working smart. Mm -hmm. And you remember, the, the, the world is going digital. Mm -hmm. uh, Kitambo, we used to think, uh, actually investments, like our dads and our moms, mm -hmm. investment is like you buy, you buy a piece of land, mm -hmm. you buy a house, but now investment is changing day by day. Mm -hmm. As we speak today, there is something that we call the metaverse. Mm -hmm. In the metaverse, you're able to buy a house, able to buy a hotel that you cannot see. Mm -hmm. You can buy a car that you cannot see. So this is technology. Mm -hmm. And actually, the future of money is in crypto. So if, don't be left behind. Mm -hmm. And there are people who say that, ah, how do I invest in something that I cannot see? The truth is, mm -hmm. the future of money is there. Mm -hmm. And if you resist it, you'll get yourself there. Mm -hmm. So crypto is very nice, especially for people who are saying life is hard. Mm -hmm. with, us, with us, just a small <laughs> capital. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you, get, you, you get like, uh, we as young people, spending 50,000 in a weekend, it's not hard. Mm -hmm. Actually, most of us, uh, we love spending, mm -hmm. but we hate investing. Nikiambia mtu twende tu tu kule nyama, Mm -hmm. uh, to spend 20,000, ah, kabisa. Very but, fast. But if I tell the same person, there is a project, there is something that you can do with that 30,000 to get money on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the next day, there's the same, same person at Anza could complain, life is hard. Mm -hmm. You see? So I think we need to bring this culture of investing, investing wisely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our Deputy President, His Excellency Rikavi Kashago, just the other day told us that we should start uh, cultivating a saving culture. Sure. And there's a difference, yes, between saving and investing, but I'd like to think saving comes first before you invest. Is that true? Actually, you have to save. You have to, okay, when you eat the seed, actually, I say, when you have money, mm -hmm. I see it as a seed. Mm -hmm. If you eat the seed, you're not going to, okay, you cannot harvest. But if you plant that seed, let's say if you have like 100,000, mm -hmm. if you decide to eat that 100,000, mm -hmm. tomorrow you're not going to get it. But if you sow it today, mm -hmm. in the next two, three days, you can get double, triple of that. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to have that culture of protecting the seed. Mm -hmm. A good farmer don't eat the seed. Mm -hmm. He sows the seed. Well put, well put. Yeah. So basically cryptocurrency is money, digital money that I cannot see. Or, or technically use daily. It's not like mobile money. Okay. Like, I can't see mobile money, but I can use it. But I understand cryptocurrency, you can use it to invest and, and transact, right? Sure. So what particular platform would I be on to start cryptocurrency? Break it down for us. If, if we were laymen or lay people and we don't really know how this goes about, where would we be starting from? Is there an app that you download? Are there things we need to know before we down download the app? When we start trading, do we start at complete zero? How do we, you know, make sure we double it? I want to sleep and wake up and my money has grown. How does this all work out? Okay, number one, you'd have to start with a passion or the, the love of it. Mm -hmm. And then you have to, you know, everything is just a risk. Uh, you have to set your mind and say like, I'm doing this thing. With your phone, there's an app called that Binance. Mm -hmm. Binance is a wallet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's used actually, it's the leading in the globe. It's the biggest actually. It's like a bank. Mm -hmm. So you're able to transact money, whether in Malaysia, whether in USA, whether you're in California, any part of the world. Mm -hmm. So it holds your money. So with that app, uh, we use a platform called Gigamax. Mm -hmm. uh, Gigamax is, an, uh, is a platform where we trade arbitrage live. Uh, for instance, if you, you have the, let's say you've opened an account with Binance, and then you open another account with Gigamax. Mm -hmm. So Binance, you, you transfer money from Binance mm -hmm. to Gigamax. Mm -hmm. Once you transfer to Gigamax, mm -hmm. and then you start trading. Mm -hmm. On this platform, you're able to earn 1% every day of your total capital. Mm -hmm. Actually, 1% is the lowest. Mm -hmm. it, it ranges from 1% percent 1.2 1.3 depending with the market but what you are sure is that your capital is there mm -hmm. you know it's a system where let's say when the market is bad it locks your capital if the market starts going downward it locks your capital mm -hmm. if it goes up it, it keeps on locking your capital 
So in a day, you are guaranteed of getting 1%. Mm -hmm. No imagine if you invest like a million Kenya shillings mm -hmm. or a, a hundred thousand shillings. Mm -hmm. You are sure that every day you're going to get a thousand Kenya shillings if you invest a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. So now here it's where your capital, your seed determines what you're going to earn mm -hmm. in a day. Uh, there are people who are investing even uh, big, huge money, like 100,000 uh, USD, mm -hmm. 50,000 USD. And uh, as from 30,000, that is 200, 200 USD, mm -hmm. you can start trading. Mm -hmm. And then trading is very interesting because mm -hmm. you keep on setting the trades after every four hours. You know, I always say too much sleep, too much poverty. Wow. If you sleep, if you like sleeping, then you are creating poverty. Mm -hmm. Because uh, great and success, successful people, they don't sleep. Actually, after every four hours, I have to be awake. Mm -hmm. Because when you set a trade, I uh, wait for other four hours, you set a trade. Like in a day, I can set only six times mm -hmm. after in a period of four hours. Mm -hmm. And setting just takes a minute. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. You see? So it is very simple. It is not a rocket science about cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. But there are other platforms mm -hmm. that you lose your money uh, on this platform, actually, uh, I will not ask you for your money mm -hmm. because there are platforms where you, people tell you that uh, uh, give me a hundred thousand in two days, I give you two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many scammers in this industry. Mm -hmm. But the best thing I love with this platform, because uh, I also do training, I train the young people. Mm -hmm. If I train you, I'm not, uh, you'll not give me your money. Mm -hmm. I will show you the steps and how to deposit, how to make your trades. And there are so many people that have inspired and have, have helped. Mm -hmm. You get somebody uh, is an engineer, but uh, the task that he or she has, he ha he ha they have a lot to do. But when you have such a platform mm -hmm. and you use it with your phone, at least you, you know work. Whether you are traveling, you're working. Whether you are anywhere you are, you're working. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, if I'm here in the studio, mm -hmm. already let's say my traders are, are running. Mm -hmm. So we are working. You see? As much as tech is advancing, yeah, and it's, yeah. it's a very beautiful thing, but it's leaving a lot of room for privacy issues. For example, is it possible for my account to be hacked at any one time? Uh, it depends with the systems that you're using. You know, uh, like the, 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 the accounts that we're using, it's very secure. Actually, they keep on improving day by day. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the same, same time, Napata, there are people that are very, very intelligent when it comes to, to, to hacking of, of the systems. But such a system or mm -hmm. such a platform, the security is very high. It's like saying about the bank, if you, you see like the, the system of a bank, mm -hmm. they say like the central bank. It's very hard uh, for somebody to hack the system. Mm -hmm. Because such platforms and international platforms, the security is very tight. And especially if I'm withdrawing my money, mm -hmm. if I'm withdrawing my profits, there are security checks. I have to sign in with my email. Mm -hmm. I have to get a code from the phone. Yani it's, it's not just something that you just press. Mm -hmm. It's something that really inquires uh, codes from the email, codes from the phone. So even if somebody took my phone, mm -hmm. they cannot hack it mm -hmm. because it's a, there's a security check. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are there other forms of digital currency apart from crypto? Yeah, actually, cryptocurrency, it's, there are many. Mm -hmm. There's Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the leading. Mm -hmm. uh, there is Ethereum, there is a Litecoin, there is a Solana. So there are so many coins in, in cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. uh, Bitcoin is the one that is leading. Mm -hmm. So when Bitcoin came, people said, ah, actually there are people who bought Bitcoin with like uh, 200 shillings mm -hmm. or 20,000. As we speak, Bitcoin is around 3.8 million. Mm -hmm. So imagine the people who bought one bitcoin or two bitcoins mm -hmm. so you end up seeing where we are headed as a as a as a as a, as a group the future of money is in crypto mm -hmm. countries such as uh, us they've started digitizing their their, their money the us dollar mm -hmm. they want it to be in a crypto way because if you have the crypto you you can do it you can spend it anywhere in the world you don't need to go like now for instance if i travel i go to south africa mm -hmm. and i have my binance mm -hmm. i'll just go there and I withdraw my money very comfortably because mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a platform that you can use money anywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, so cryptocurrency, there are many currencies. Uh, it's just a shade. Mm -hmm. there, is a, there is a Bitcoin, there is a, there is a Solana. Mm -hmm. There are so many coins mm -hmm. inside of it. 
Is it possible to have or to transact with more than one coin at the same time? Sure, sure. Is it advisable? Yeah, actually, there are people who buy coins like, uh, uh, you buy like uh, Solana, Huobi coins. Mm -hmm. You know, when you buy coins, it's like an investment. And that's why now uh, the seasons are changing. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, people are not buying land, most of them. Mm -hmm. You get they're investing in digital assets. You see, because land it Africa plays on is easily conned. Uneza nunua shamba upate, eh, umenunua shamba iko hewa. But the best thing with this, uh, if you want to sell, hey. if you want to sell your coins, you just sell them with like, in a two minutes you're able to sell. Mm -hmm. So nikitu iko chap chap, your money is secured. So, any haina hassle mob. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's actually fun doing it. Because the moment you wake up, uh, you just want to go somewhere and you just withdraw some profits and do a project. So it makes actually lives very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Enable you're able to do many things at the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can build, you can do your studies, you can implement other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned Forex is uh, where, where the trade comes in is when the money is changed, like currency. For example, yen to US dollar or the pound to Kenya shillings. That's where the money is. Yeah, yeah. So where exactly is the money at, at with cryptocurrency? Like where is the trading okay. actual? Yeah. In crypto, uh, we deal with exchanges. Mm -hmm. So let me, let me just use it in a layman language like uh, a certain bank is, is selling a uh, USD mm -hmm. at 100 shilling. Another bank is selling it at uh, 105. Mm -hmm. So what we do, you go to exchanger that is selling at low price, mm -hmm. you buy mm -hmm. and go sell it at high price. You come to Nitoke Hapa Nairobi, I buy tomatoes mm -hmm. at a low price. Mm -hmm. I go to Mombasa mm -hmm. and sell them at a high price. Mm -hmm. So I buy like a kilo at 100 shillings, I go sell them at 110 mm -hmm. or 105. Mm -hmm. So now it depends with the quantity. If you bought 10 the tomato, kilos, tomatoes yeah. I have. Uh -huh. So the bigger the quantity, the, the bigger the, the margins. Uh -huh. So we're able to get the small, small margins. Because even if you go to the shop today, mm -hmm. you'll find uh, a shop is selling at Unga at 200. Mm -hmm. The next shop is selling it at 205. Mm -hmm. The next one. So there's a difference. So crypto is about those differences, those small, small differences. So when we combine them together, at the end of the day, you're able to make money. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So basically, that's where crypto money comes from. Finance bill hai janza kututak sapo bado ama. Okay. Nisi shout as aniskia. Okay, but now you see crypto is a decentralized currency. Mm -hmm. You see? It's decentralized and it's not governed by 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 anyone. It's yes. decentralized. Mm -hmm. So napata uh, okay, it's decentralized, let me say that. So there's no it's but not susceptible to things like VAT or CD. But we pay tax. Like, you know, you, in this country, you cannot, you cannot survive without paying tax. Like, you go to buy bread, you're paying tax. Eh? <laughs> eh? So, everybody pays tax. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not, uh, what I'm trying to lead into, it, it's not a direct conflict of interest. Like, for example, eh, okay. Niache kushout. Nime wacha. At white five four Facebook, white five four channel on Twitter. Hashtag of the day is why in the morning. Okay. So, so far, what I've learned about you is you are an author sure. of a book called Take Off. It's about success. And we've also learned today to celebrate failures because failures are part of success. And that's where you actually learn something when you fail. The second thing I've learned about you is you're in the aviation industry. You are also about to become a pilot, if I'm not wrong. And he both trades in Forex and cryptocurrency. And he's given us a very wonderful breakdown of the two. I think he was right when, when he said when you in, he introduces, let's say, ex, person X to either crypto or Forex, person X at a crypto, na mini person X. So I really hope you can have a conversation after this. If you missed it, please don't panic. You can go to our YouTube channel that is at White Five Four Channel on YouTube. As we wind this up, what would you like to tell the youth of today, the one who is having a very hard time? Again, His Excellency, the uh, Deputy President Gathi Gashagwa, just recently at a graduation, told people, kindly, I will not lie to you. There are, not jo there are no jobs out here. 
we're not saying that you're graduating. Congratulations, but we're not saying that you're coming to a, a, a very able <laughs> job market. What would you like to tell that person? Okay, I would love to tell the young people, uh, you can make it. Don't expect uh, money from the government. Don't expect, uh, you know, you have everything that entails to success. You just need to believe in yourself and unleash the potential inside of you. You have a great idea, you have great visions, but if you don't bring them out, if you don't start working them out, nothing is going to happen. So you must wake up, you must get out of your comfort zone and be the person that you're supposed to be. So I would like to inspire you, be inspired, and, uh, and take off, get out from your comfort zone, and just believe in yourself, and, be, and put God first. And all things are possible with God. Nothing is hard with Him. Yes. Mm, about to say amen to that. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you so very much for coming. You have both inspired and educated me. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I hope at home kuzwa mahali na ni tu tu sit ni ni tu. Let's we can do this. We can change the world. Sit with some other youth or the leaders of today. Sure. Yes. Nani? Kindly. At five five four on Facebook, Y two five four channel on Twitter, Y two five four underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag of the day is one in the morning. And before I forget, Joki, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Don't go away. We're not done yet. <laughs>